where once they arrived by the thousands each day, now the flow of refugees into the European Union has slowed. In this shelter run by the Red Cross in Vienna, 90 people wait anxiously for their asylum claims to be decided. But while the future remains uncertain, few question why they came. What would happen to me if I stayed in Homs? Only two things, arrest or death. Much of Europe continues to grapple with the refugee influx that has fueled nationalism and challenged European values and solidarity. Here in Austria, they will soon rerun the vote that earlier in the summer came within a whisker of electing the European Union's first ever far-right head of state. The rise of the right is a theme that Austria shares with many of the countries on the so-called Balkan refugee route into Europe. Harald Wilimski belongs to Austria's far-right Freedom Party, currently leading in the opinion polls. First, we issued an invitation to everyone in the Arab world and Africa and then realized that we cannot cope. Many reject the Western way of life. We notice that crime is exploding. Unfortunately, there is terrorism across Europe. And in addition, we don't have the jobs or the housing or the money to welcome these people. At a meeting in Vienna on Saturday, the countries on the Balkan route from Greece to Germany will seek to ensure the route remains tightly controlled. They know that a fragile deal with Turkey to halt the flow of refugees could easily break down, with obvious consequences. <laughs> I'm sure that for most of the people still in Syria, if they get the chance to leave, they will come. Last summer began with an open invitation from German Chancellor Angela Merkel to come. The message to refugees now is don't. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, Vienna.